Howdy folks, thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome to the channel, glad you're here. And uh, real quick, just to get this out of the way, if you're not already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and click down there below uh, that red subscribe button. Go ahead and give that a click and possibly even the, the notification bell. Uh, go ahead and give that a ring. That way you get notified when new content's coming up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. I wanted to talk a little bit today about pedal boards. This is mine. I'm, I'm sitting on the floor because, hey, that's, that's where my pedal board lives. So I'm, I'm getting down to its level. This is my pedal board right here. As you can see, it's filthy dirty, and that's part of why I'm, I'm doing this video anyway. Uh, I've got to pull it all apart, give everything a good cleaning. But as soon as I decided to do that, it occurred to me, I, I've got bigger problems with my pedal board that, that really should be addressed. Uh, for example, if you take a look, um, it's just, it, it's crammed full. I couldn't fit another pedal on here if I tried. Uh, not that I really need to. In fact, some of these pedals need to go. Some are going to stay, but some need to go. And, uh, but yeah, I, I think I need something with a little bit more real estate on it. The, the fact of the matter is, I, I've got to do some stuff with my pedal board anyway. I've got to pull all this apart. Uh, but yeah, I need a new board. And that got me to thinking. Pedal boards aren't cheap. Or at least the name brand ones aren't. Uh, I went shopping. I, I looked at a bunch of them. Uh, holy boards, temple boards. Uh, Voodoo Labs has a board. Um, let's see, who am I forgetting? Well, Boss has boards. But, man, you look at those boards and they cost, well, I think, you tell me, this is part of what I'm, I'm doing here, because I want your input. I want you to comment below. Uh, tell me, do you think those name brand pedal boards are worth it? Because in the end, I, I was shopping around, and uh, I ended up doing what I did the last time when I bought this board. Uh, this is just something I found off of Amazon. It is a Soyan. S-O-Y-A-N, uh, that cost, I think I paid maybe 40 bucks for it, 40, 45 dollars uh, for this pedal board, and it has been really great. It's, it's served its purpose. I've had no issues with it. Uh, it, it has a, a little bitty space uh, clamp space under here where you put your power supply. Uh, it's been everything I needed a board to be. And uh, comparing the prices, when, when you're looking at comparable name brand boards that cost well over $100, uh, I, I'm just having a hard time justifying that. But then I've never owned one of those name brand boards, so uh, maybe there's something about them that's magic. Maybe, maybe they're way sturdier. Maybe, maybe they can withstand... Uh, 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 a major blast or something. I don't know, uh, but you can comment below and tell me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take these these apart. You know, pull them all off. I got to clean them all up. I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me, uh, uh, you know, polish up pedals. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing all cleared off, and I'll show you what solution I came up with for my next pedal board. And then I'm going to ask you for some input on something else, because eh, some of these pedals will be going back on here, but uh, I probably should get some new pedals, shouldn't I? Hmm. So uh, let me go ahead and get everything off of here, and we'll go from there. 20 minutes later. All right, here it is. This is the uh, the old board. Uh, I got it nice and cleaned up. All the grit and grime pulled off of it. Uh, I bought this back in 2020, uh, back in the the midst of the uh, uh, let, let, the calamity, the malady, whatever you want to call it. That's when I bought this. I think I paid 30. Five, maybe 40 bucks for it. Not entirely sure, but I don't think it was over $40. It might have been $39.95. But it's done a great job. It's been fantastic. You can jump up and down on this thing. It's got a, a nice rigid kind of reinforcement crossbar here for the middle section. It, it, 
it's got the little place where you can fit your power supply up under here. It, it, everything about it is nice. The quality has been fantastic. And after cleaning it up, uh, it's really none the worse for the wear. I can't complain about build quality, that it's cheap or, or anything. It's done a great job. So now I'm looking for something bigger. I, I, I you know, something something more like that. I got to looking at all the, you know, the known names, the, the temple boards, the, the holy boards, uh, voodoo labs boards. Um, who else? Who, who, you know, you, you know all the names. And I'm looking at 150, 200. Uh, it's, it's kind of insane. Now I get it. Um, this is made in, you know, in, in that China place. Most likely, I'm assuming that it is. It's made overseas, uh, the deal. So I, I get it. If your boards are, are made here in the U.S., that's going to get them to cost more. Uh, and I understand that. But here's the thing. Now I'm in the market for a new board, and I would love to buy yeah, whether it's a pedal train, a holy board, temple board, um, voodoo lab, whatever. I'd love to buy one of those. Just to say, hey, hey, did you see my new, uh, my, my new uh, uh, holy board here? And, and I want to I, I mention something. With holy board, they do offer some stuff. It's expensive. Uh, but I like their, their expandable, multi-level kind of system. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm, I'm talking about a board, just this. And when you're looking at $150, $200 for just something like this, I don't know how you justify that. So now I'm in the market for a, a larger board. And I just can't bring myself to buy something for that price. So I did the same thing uh, I did before. And I got this. It's Goko. I got it off of Amazon. It's, uh, let's see, 22 by 12 and a half, I believe. A lot of real estate there. I love that. Get it good in the light. Hopefully this is, my lighting's not great. But there you have it. I mean, it's got a huge shelf under here for your power supply. Uh, it feels just as solid as the old board. And this was $65 on eBay. Goko, uh, large pedal board. So again, if I can pay $65 for this, and I'm willing to bet, you could probably, if you want to spend the time, uh, go through, you can probably find other boards with the same dimensions uh, on eBay that might even be five, maybe even 10 bucks less. I don't know, this is the one that I came across, and I thought it would be fantastic. And it probably will be. I have no doubt that it probably will be. And uh, before I go any further, yes, uh, it, it does come with a case, a nice, big, spacious case uh, with a strap you can put on it. And uh, it also it gives you uh, rolls of the Velcro, one side, the other side. Uh, so you got your Velcro if you choose to use it. I'm not sure I'm going to go with Velcro this time. I don't know. I, I'm going to be looking for other options. But, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. So here's the thing. I have never once, since I started this channel, I have never once asked a single company uh, to, to send me anything for free to, or, or to even just send a loaner that I can, can demo, uh, and send back to them. I, I buy everything with, with my own money. But in this case, I'm just going to put it out there. I doubt anybody from any of those companies I mentioned, uh, will ever, ever even see this video. But if they do, I invite them. I would be happy for you to send me your product 
and, and let me try it. Maybe I will see why it is worth so much. I will say 50-50 chance you can convince me of it. But I'm not going to go out and spend that kind of money, $150, $200 on a pedal board, when I just got this for 65 bucks. So, yeah, I, I don't want to put the, I, I don't want to frame it like I'm challenging the, these companies or anything, because I would truly love to know. I could be way off base. I could be. Uh, and, and some of you own some of these boards. If I am, I comment below. Tell me where I'm wrong. But I just don't see, it's not like it affects your tone. It's not like, oh, but the but it just destroys your highs. It blasts your mids. It no, this this isn't a tone thing. It's it's not it's not like that. This is just something to put your pedals on. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, obviously I'm putting together a new pedal board. That creates a, a another thing that I kind of I want your input on it because I'll be reusing some of the pedals that I've had on my board for a while. I'll, I'll continue to have them. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to have my LPD-68 on there. It's my favorite pedal. Uh, shout out to Lawrence Petros. He's, he's a genius. He makes them all by hand. Uh, so I'll be using that. I, I, I'm in love with my Keeley Compressor Plus. That, that'll go on there. Uh, most likely... My, uh, my um, Electro -harm Harmonics, I always want to call it Electro Harmonics. I, I, that's something from when I was a kid. It's Electro Harmonics. My Eddy, I love this pedal too. It, it'll most likely be on there. But beyond that, well, okay, here's the big thing. I really don't want to put the Joyo flanger back on. I do want a flanger, but I'm not super happy with the Joyo, so... Uh, I've got some things in mind, but I would love to hear your recommendations in the comments below. Um, you tell me what you think I should be looking at as far as a flanger goes. I've been using as a delay the Electro Harmonics Canyon. Uh, it, it's a great pedal, uh, but I would like to get a, um, a delay that's more simplified. This has a bunch of settings from, it, it's got reverb, it's got shimmer, it's got octave, it, it's uh, reverb, reverse, multi, all, all these options on it. I just want a more simplified delay. Uh, and I've got a few, few uh, things in mind, but again, uh, I, I would love to hear your your suggestions for what should go on the final pedal board build. Uh, and uh, let's see, I'm I'm really happy. I'm not going to change my Polytune two. It does a great job. It, it'll be on there. Uh, as far as um, as far as a boost, I've been using the uh, Soul Food primarily as a boost, sort of that Klon clone thing. Uh, and it may or may not go back on there. But I do want um, another overdrive option. I've been thinking, where did I, what did I do with, oh yeah. I've been thinking about using my, uh, my Ernie Ball, um, uh, what is it called? Expression overdrive. And I like this because it, with the pedal, you can add and take away gain with the pedal while you're playing with your feet. What a concept. Hey, I love that. And it's a, it's a pretty good overdrive. So I'm, I may put this on there, but I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm either going to put the, uh, for a fuzz, because I've been playing fuzz lately, um, go with the um, the Muffalata. Yeah, the L, uh, uh, JHS Muffalata. Um, it, it's good. Lots of tonal and fuzz options on here, but I've got another one. I don't know if any of y'all, this is kind of not one of the bigger things. The name of the company that makes it is Animals Pedals. 
Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with it. Now, the name of this particular fuzz, I don't know if I'm going to get a really good view of that. There we go. Um, this is called the Sunday Afternoon is Infinity Bender. That's the name of the fuzz. Sunday Afternoon is Infinity Bender. Uh, I, I like this pedal. I like this pedal a lot. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably going to go on the board Beyond that, you tell me. I want to hear your suggestions, your recommendations, and I want to hear what you think about the cost of these pedal boards. Uh, can you really justify $100 for this? Can you justify $150 or $200 for this? That's my question. And again, I'm, I'm not trying to throw shade on any of these companies. Uh, th they do what they have to do. Maybe that's just the price point that they have to have to stay in business. The problem is, that's a price point that a guy like me I can't afford that. I'm going to leave it right there. In the future, you'll see, I think I'll make a video when I actually go to put this pedal board together. I've got a few pedals I'm going to need to buy. I want to look at the comments on here and see what your recommendations are. I may go with some of those. But until then, um, well, I tell you what, let's be good. Let's all just be good. Take care.